let's talk about what everybody wants to know, right? What everybody wants to hear about. Your boy LaMelo just inked a deal with Puma. Did you shed a tear? Did you cry, Tom? It's okay. I, I thought you were gonna say talking about people that are gonna win championships, uh, LaMelo Ball. Uh, I didn't shed a tear. I had known about it for a while, obviously. Um, no, it's cool. He, he signed his deal before he gets drafted, right? That's not, not every player gets to do that. He signed with Puma, who's up and coming. They just got guys like with Michael Porter Jr. They've got a bunch of other young and upcoming guys. But this, yep. is, but this is like the first big name that they've gotten to sign. Um, I wasn't surprised, right? Because Lamelo signed to Rock Nation, and there's like that that closeness with Puma. But I think he's gonna take the brand to a whole nother level now. Like he's the guy. Okay, if you're in Lamelo's shoes, though, all right, let's say let's say everything's even. Let's be real honest, and let's let's just be honest about if Puma throws you more money, that has to be a like consideration. Because if it's all at, let's just say. Let's just say 10 million, okay? Just for the heck of it. Nike, Adidas, Under Armour, and Puma say, we want you, same contract, everything's normal, all level playing field. Are you sure your boy's taking Puma? Are you taking Puma? It's not about what I would take, um, but- Oh, it's my question. Would you, take, would you take Puma? If everything was even? You know, it, it, for me, I think it, I would. And this is why. Because, like, Lamelo's going to walk into Puma now. And, like, yes, Michael Porter's great. Uh, RJ Barrett's great. Marvin Bagley's awesome. But Lamelo's going to walk in. And other than Jay Cole, who's in music, he's the man. Like, he is number one. He's poster child. You have guys on the other group where it's like, you sign with Nike? Like, okay. Same with Zion. I mean, same with uh, LeBron. Same with KD. You sign with Jordan. It's like, all right, Zion, Michael Jordan, Russell Westbrook, yeah. whatever you want to say. You're, you're Under Armour's got Steph and Tom Brady. Yep. Uh, and not that you don't want to be with those guys, right? Because, like, you know, LeBron's made his own lane, even though Kobe was already with Nike. But Puma, like, he has a chance. And, you know, that's Lamelo's DNA. Like, he did it with BBB. He did it with going to Lithuania. Like, he doesn't care what everyone else does, honestly. And I think that's what makes him so special is, like, he probably wants to do his own thing. And, like, create. if it was up to him, he probably would make his own shoe like he already did. Like, I think that's that's just who he is. What about you? Who would you sign with? Oh. Are you even allowed talk- to say? Yeah, sure. I mean, I don't care. This is all hypotheticals and down the road anyways. If it was all even, I grew up I grew up in the um, Adidas circuit, so we got a lot of their stuff. But to me, I love Under Armour. Under Armour's always been somebody, I love what they stand for. I love who they sign. You, Like you said, you said you got Steph Curry, you got Tom Brady, all these kind of guys that I want to align with in terms of what they do and what they stand for and are about. And in my opinion... There's no better, as I'm wearing a Nike check, whatever. Uh, there's no better <laughs> quality, like, gear than Under Armour. I might be wrong, but I got to hear the people's voice on this as well. But in my opinion, Under Armour, Under Armour is, is really the real deal. And if I'm the mellow, I might, I might go the Under Armour wave. Not going to lie. But we can all assume that Puma, a little bit of extra change rolling around, said, hey, mellow. These guys are going to offer you lower deals because they're the big dogs. Come this way and, like you said, be the face of, of Puma for however long. You think he's long-term Puma? I just wonder, like, how did this happen, right? Like, did Jay-Z, who is, like, Rock Nation and Puma, pull Lamo into a room and be like, sup, I'm Jay-Z, you're signing with me? Or, like, I, well, again, we have no idea. Um, the thing with these guys when they come right out of high school, college, pro, when they first start is like, they don't always stay with that, right? Like, no, they don't. They switch all the time. Kobe switched. Um, there's been, I think, did KD switch? I don't That's know. That's what I'm saying. Because if Melo blows up big time, long term, there's more money at Nike. 100%. There's more benefit. There's more notoriety. If he is, if you can put yourself into the LeBron, Kobe, KD, Kyrie, that conversation, which, we all know Tom thinks that LaMelo's on his way to that conversation, all right? If you can do that, there is more for you at Nike. So, like Kobe did, hit that Adidas, grab the check. It's almost like a signing bonus. Like, you're really just doing it to get a good jump start. You think, I think it's very possible that we see LaMelo switch from Puma soon. I don't know. For Puma, right? Like, is this... 
like this is almost like a no-brainer, right? Like they have to do this. I know they've they've gotten some other young good kids, but like there's not there is no player that's coming to the league with this many like followers who are young. Like they're probably thinking like this is gonna turn us into the next big shoe brand. Yeah, and it could be. I mean, Under Armour did that with Steph. I mean, without Steph Curry, Under Armour Under Armour's big time. I think you know, and they they in their own right have done anything, but basketball world Under Armour wasn't really even on the scene until Steph Curry and I love Puma I think they're doing a great job and like you said they're just waiting for that one to pop and if LaMelo's the one to pop it's gonna go crazy because they got a lot of good things going right now at Puma so Zion when he came out last year he got I think it was reported he got 75 million from Jordan which before you even touch a court you get 75 million that's insane I think LeBron got a hundred if I'm not mistaken which is like 25 years ago so to think that that's still like the highest number is crazy, but like makes sense, right? Um, you think LaMelo was over or under 75? I have no idea. I would guess under. I would guess under. No. He, he, he left, he left, and that's kind of a product of not doing the NCAA route. So let's say he stays and goes to, I don't know, Kansas, all right? Blows up, you know, goes crazy, does what Zion did at Duke. Now it's got everybody in America talking. He's already had the attention of, you know, America, but he was playing in Australia for a year. So I think if he stays here and he does the, you know, the NCAA route, um, even though you can't really do that when you make a probably million dollar brand with your family at home. Uh, but anyways, hypothetically, if he stayed here, I think his contract initially is bigger, but trust me, I don't think he's hurting. I don't think the big baller mansion is, uh, is in any way, shape or form in a bad spot. I think uh, everything's good and paid off. Lamelo signed to Puma. Gonna put Puma on the map. Uh, I will be I will be purchasing a pair, 100. Unless they're like 600 dollars, like his old shoes were. But I don't think Puma will do that. You know I'm out here with the bucket low. You know in the way we jersey stop playing games. You could get like your boy Larry. Click the link in the bio and check out these videos. They're right here for y'all. And subscribe. Dime, 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 dime.